Hello and welcome to Postcards 42 Grab Bag 5. I do apologise. Um, I tried to do this earlier, but there was a technical problem. So here I am again um, with better lighting and hopefully a better show all round. I've got some postcards to show you. The first claims to have been done in Paris. Look at this. These blue marks, I'm not really certain if it enhances it or it's just something that's on the photograph that shouldn't be there, like refractive light or something. It says Lee Miller, Fashion Study, Paris, 1932. Um, and it's from the archives. And it, Homes and Antiques uh, magazine gave it away about 20 years ago. And here it is, in all its glory. I think she's an effort of introspection, and she's dancing with a shadow. Well, which of us hasn't gone ahead and done that? That's what I'd like to know. The next is by Burn Jones, Five Ladies. Four, somewhat, looking away from one who is recompense. This is, says, Lice Bene Laus Veneris. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. It may be German. And as I say, it's by Burne Jones, and it gives his dates, Oil on Canvas, and it's from a Newcastle gallery. So if you want to see it, you've got to hire yourself up to Newcastle upon Tyne. And go to Newcastle under Lyme, which is in Cheshire. And here we have a lady who's as nearly as miserable as people think I am. Stained glass, of course. The Malvern Hills in the background. Here we are. There's the Malvern Hills. For the poet dreams, visions of Piers Plowman, about which I don't know anything. Let's see if I can see what it says at the bottom. William Langland is very old. It's about 600 years old. How about that? It's been cleaned a few times. There we are. Now, change of pace. Some flora. Look at that. I think that's very nice. Very lively. Interesting shadows in the background. Let's have a look. Oh, this is the Lotus ink and colour on paper. And this is the part of the it's part of a set, a set of paintings from the Four Seasons exhibition in Oxford of 2003. It was in the Ashmolean. I'll show you that again. That's worthy of framing, isn't it? Really like that. Yes, I really like that. Interesting to know how long it took to do it. It's all the same with flowers now. Ooh, in that direction lies madness. Is this indeed madness? This is by Marc Chagall, in other words, a world famous painter. Lovers with flowers. Oh, yes, there's a second face. See that? And the hand comes up. As much for reassurance as for exploration. And the flowers are thrown in. I should think they both had a very great deal to drink. What do you think? Falling asleep. Here we have three baldies, bald blokes, without no clothes on. This is a five, four fold screen the boat by bev holding and i won't read out her address but it's actually got it on the back she comes from fowey in cornwall it's probably not pronounced fowey so the heads go above the screen an age of innocence when we all needed screens perhaps we still do Perhaps that time may come again, I don't know. 
Now here's something amusing, but also with a bit of depth. René Magritte. Now don't, because it's surrealist, don't go running away. Four people, uh, rather four rooms, identical. But of course the rooms don't know that they're identical and the man in the middle. Reading the paper. what's it saying to us that our lives are very repetitive maybe man with newspaper it's called it's from 1928 and it is originally from the Tate it's presented to the Tate in 1964 and it is a Henry Stone postcard it's a bit dark but you can see that there he is reading and these are adjoining rooms, which are identical, but for him. Now, if you had trouble seeing the other ones, you'll have trouble with this. So I'm going to tell you instantly, it's from the National Gallery, and it's a Rembrandt. It's man in a room. Well, that's coincidentally, isn't it? Because that's man in a room as well. But this is the good old man in a room. I think he's playing the playing the piano or some such. You can see the shadow here, the light falling. Ah, I think that's very nice. Subtle, but uh, now I bought this yesterday in Alton. It's called Thoughts. Best in the world, it says. It's a Beagle's card. Printed in England. From your lucky mother. From his mother with love. See if you can make out the writing better than I can. It obviously hasn't been sent through the post, but what it has been done, what has been done with it is that it's been used as a note. Now on the front it says, thoughts are always with you, dear. I'm hoping all is well with you on life's long way. Or should some darkening cloud arise, may I be near to shelter and protect you still. But I would have true happiness, no shade of care all that's bright and beautiful to be your share it all earth's brightest gems were mine i'd freely give but i can hope and pray for you whilst i shall live terry there we are and we have pansies black ones not all black and some flags in the interests of patriotism no doubt this might be a card that was sent to a soldier there we are don't particularly care for it but it's unusual and last but not least as people were saying Look at this, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, illustrated uh, by Lewis Carroll, illustrated by John Tenniel. In fact, he was knighted, I think, John Tenniel. There's nothing like a puffin. What on earth is that supposed to mean? Sort of an in-joke, which is, which is, uh, precludes people like me that don't know what it means. There's a whole line of puffins. Alice Adventures in Wonderland from 1949. Cover illustration. Yes, from the book. Which was certainly not written in 1949, was it? There you are. With an apology that the other one, other little film, the other little chinwag, went wrong. Thank you very much for listening. 
I've been James Pratt, and this has been Postcards 42, Grab Bag 7. Goodbye.